Welcome to Theological Grazing. I don't know if this is true, and so I'm just working it out. I'm spitballing a little bit here. But as I'm thinking about the natural world and how God has constructed things, I can't help but think there are very few straight lines and like perfect symmetries. Symmetry doesn't actually seem to show up that often. It definitely does show up. Um, but it really sticks out when it when it shows up in nature because it doesn't, it's not actually um, something that is very common. Even as I'm driving, I'm just looking at, you know, trees, different kinds of trees and plants and and the the bluffs around where I live or even the, the riverbed. And I think like none of this is like a some kind of symmetrical shape or or none of it is really made with a lot of straight lines and right angles. And I don't know what to make of that or to think of it. And it's not, again, it's not to say that those things don't exist in nature. And I, I'm not saying those things are bad by any means. Um, you know, I mean, you need right angles to build certain things. But I'm just thinking about what that tells us about God, the way that he's created things. Um, what, does that, what does that tell us about him? You think about maybe like the, the rotation of the planets. And as far as we can tell, there's not what used to be assumed that there was this kind of perfect symmetry, that everything was was just exactly in a, in a place where it was, was uh, perfectly aligned. Well, in a sense, that's not true. I mean, it is like that. It is amazingly balanced and, and beautiful the solar system that is, but it, it's not in the exact perfect movement that we always assumed that it must be as humanity. And I wonder if that's because we were projecting our understanding of perfection onto God and what God makes. That we thought it had to be a certain way because perfection requires this kind of symmetry. I don't know if symmetry is the exact right right uh, word for what I'm looking for. I think that you will understand as you hear this what I'm talking about. What does that tell us about God though? Does God not care for that? That doesn't mean that things aren't balanced. In creation, I mean, there's, there is incredible balance. But there's also a lot more flexibility. There's a lot more movement. And I just wonder what that teaches us, what it should teach us as we try to conform ourselves to the way things are. Right? What should that teach us about balancing our life, balancing our relationships? And I wonder if, and again, I'm spitballing. I could be totally off on this, right? And you can tell me if I am. But I wonder if that teaches us something about how we should balance our own lives, that our lives don't have to be this exactly perfect, you know, uh, my schedule is exactly just this tight, this is exactly what I do on exactly what day, and and my relationships, right? The way that I operate within relationships with others, it is, you know, very, very uh, exact and precise how I interact with people, the kind of relationship we can have. I just wonder if seeing that God's world is one of tremendous balance but not symmetry teaches us that you know, there are certain things that will have a closer orbit to us, shall we say, and others that will have 
um, something that's quite more distant and further, and they might not be even like an exact circular orbit around us, right? It can be more, uh, you know, oval, oblong in its in its rotation around us, where we we just don't, uh, you know, think about certain things or or do certain things or um, create certain things, except once in a great while. But that's okay. That's an okay thing. I don't know if this makes any sense. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying here. I just, I'm, I'm working something out that I think is there. I think there is something. I mean, just think about the, the beauty of creation. That it, it's not necessarily chaotic, but it's not the exact perfect right angle straight lines that we would use often to make something clean and minimal and not not so chaotic shall we say anyway i better i better get off of this because i'm i'm probably floundering at this point hope this was helpful well that's all folks if you can help me out rate and review this podcast share it with a friend go ahead and email me if you have any questions we're out